Yes, sir, spring is definitely in the air, even as I'm about to get loaded up with sugar early in the AM as I'm filming this right now, guys. That's right, you already saw the title to this one. It's the all-new Spring Minis over here at Krispy Kreme, and I've got them up next for you, so stay tuned, because I'm Ian Kay, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. Yes, sir, I do love me some donuts, and considering how awesome Krispy Kreme is at what they do, these are looking really, really nice on top of being nicely loaded with sugar, I'm sure, guys. A very lovely situation, and they're tiny, they're small, but still deadly in the calorie and sugar department even still, right? So, guys, as always with these donut reviews that I do for Krispy Kreme, I'm gonna take one bite of each of them, we'll wash it down with some green tea in between bites, naturally to clean the palate, and then we'll move on to the next one. And at the very end, considering what this is, I think I'm gonna go for an overall rating because these are pretty much kind of the same across the board. And again, they're very small. So let me just show you again. A very lovely situation, guys. Very, very nice on this one here. So starting off with number one, take a look at this, guys. This one is looking very colorful. Very nice indeed. What we've got here is the mini chocolate iced with spring sprinkles. A very simple blend on this one. And what this is very simply is their standard mini original glazed donut, in this case dipped in chocolate icing and then topped off with a colorful spring sprinkle blend. So try and say that quickly 10 times, guys. But as you can see, a very lovely situation. And again, I am totally digging the size of this one here. How you doing? I can kind of see you through there. Very nice. Very lovely situation. I think I know what to expect from this one. This is kind of like the starter donut out of the group. Let's give this a shot. It's the first of the spring minis, the mini chocolate ice with spring sprinkles. Let's peep this out. Yep, tiny, deadly, very tasty. Mmm. Well, as expected and as mentioned, this is absolutely the starter donut out of the group, guys. It's their standard original glazed goodness here in mini form with some chocolate icing and some extra sugary crunch on the very top of this one here. A very lovely situation, very fresh as you can see, and the icing covers the top pretty nicely here. Classic flavor over here, Krispy Kreme, and overall it's a very tasty sugary bite. Very nice. Yeah, I think maybe if you just went with this donut, possibly two or three of these along with a drink would pretty much suit you pretty nicely, guys. But it's classic Krispy Kreme flavor and it's pretty tasty. So let's wash the palate down before we go into the second one. <sighs> nice and clean. All right, guys, take a look at this one. This is kind of cute, actually. <laughs> the mini bouncing bunny, or in this case, a face planted bunny into the middle of this donut here right now. This is actually looking really nice in terms of the artistic flair. All right, so obviously what this one is, is of course a mini original glazed donut. In this case, it's gonna be dipped in green icing and then topped with a dollop of vanilla flavored buttercream frosting to finish out the look of that bunny that's face planted into this donut. And then naturally it's finished with two bunny feet sugar pieces to round it out. And it's looking pretty cool, guys. I have to admit, I do like this one, pretty nice. And I have to say with those two little feet right there, I'm loving the little mitts on the very bottom right there. That is looking pretty nice. So naturally with the sugar pieces being what they are, I know what to expect from that. Let's go in with this uh, cream over here along with the rest of the donut here. So guys, it's the mini bouncing bunny face planted into the middle of this donut. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Rich vanilla frosting on that one. That buttercream is banging. Mmm. Well, if you've ever had any of the Krispy Kreme donuts over here that are pumped with that vanilla buttercream action, you know exactly what to expect with this one. A nice combination of goodness, and again, the artistic flair is pretty nice on this. I almost feel kind of bad for biting off the half of this little guy here, but still, those little mitts from the feet are looking pretty nice. So, pretty fun on this one, guys. Not bad in the flavor department, very fresh, and again, a little bit up there in terms of the sugar. Well, scratch that. Definitely up there in sugar, but still, very tasty. So yeah, this kind of feels like one of the cream filled donuts, but on the outside, but the same flavor is naturally. So pretty tasty on that, guys. And again, the artistic flair is pretty nice. Let's go for a palate wash and we'll move on to number three. <sighs> Refreshing. All right, guys, take a look at this. This actually has a very nice feel to it, and I'm gonna explain why. This is actually looking pretty nice. All right, so what you're looking at here is what they call the mini daffodil. And of course, what we're starting off with is a mini original glazed donut. And in this case, it's gonna be dipped in yellow icing and yellow sanding sugar. That's then topped off with a dollop of orange buttercream frosting and then decorated with a yellow icing flower on the very top. So very nice in terms of the presentation on this one for sure. But on the real, it's a little on the simple side, and that's actually fine because the feeling of this one is very nice. You can really feel the granules on there pretty nicely, guys. So let's give this a shot. A single bite of a mini daffodil, another one of the spring minis over here at Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this out.
Okay. No orange flavor, but it's tasty. Well, I think we have a little bit of a missed opportunity with this one because there's no orange flavor from the buttercream right there in the middle, guys. It pretty much tastes like a standard original Krispy Kreme donut over here with that vanilla buttercream. It's just dyed to be looking the way that it is in front of you here right now. So not bad, but the main differentiating factor are the granules of that sanding sugar on the outside. So you're getting a little bit of extra crunch with this one and the mouthfeel is pretty good. And of course the fresh donut is bomb, but on the real, while it's dressed the part, it definitely has those familiar flavors that you already know. So again, a missed opportunity with that orange cream. That would have been nice to have just a little bit of difference in flavor, but still pretty tasty for what it is. And you know what? I probably should have expected that, but at the same time, I was hoping for just a little bit of difference with this one, but still pretty cool for what that is, guys. Pretty cool. Okay, one more palette wash before we move on to round four. All right. And this one I wanted to save for last because I think artistically, it probably looks the best out of the group. And I gotta say, I am totally digging the way that this one looks here, guys. Just take a look at that. Very colorful, very simple at the same time, but very fun. All right, so this is the Mini Diving Duck. And basically what this is, is of course, a mini original glazed donut dipped in blue icing this time and then sprinkled with white non perials and then topped off with a dollop of yellow buttercream frosting and two orange buttercream duck feet. A very lovely situation there. So if you're wondering where the non perial is, basically think of it as like a little sugar ball. And for the effect of the water, this is actually pretty cool. And I have to say again, very nice in terms of the artistic flair, just like the previous one that we checked out with that bouncing bunny. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely digging the way this one looks with the water effect. So guys, here we go. It's the mini diving duck, the last of the spring minis over here at Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this out. Yep. All flash. The substance is not bad, but it's familiar. Tasty though. Well, if you were to blindfold me and have me take a bite of the mini bouncing bunny as well as the mini diving duck and then ask me exactly which one is different, guys, I would pretty much say they're exactly the same because you know what? They are exactly the same. It's pretty much the same flavor, just different coloring across the board. And again, the artistic flair is pretty cool with this one, but again, very much similar to what you'd expect over here at Krispy Kreme. No difference with these. So while they look amazing, it's a little lackluster because you're not getting any real difference in flavor, but still they look great, right? Well, you know what? I'm not gonna hate on these too much because the quality of what I've got here is very fresh. It's very familiar flavoring from Krispy Kreme. And what they do, they do very well. It's just that what you're getting with this is exactly what you'd expect here. No real difference in flavor for the most part. And I have to say, while the experience is pretty nice in terms of trying them, what you're gonna get is more flash than anything else. So I like what I've got here, but at the same time, I wish there was just a little bit more of a difference in terms of the flavor, but still very, very fun to check out, even if it is early in the morning and I'm very hopped up on sugar right now. All right, so considering the experience is pretty much even across the board with those with the exception of the chocolate naturally, I think what I'm gonna do is give one overall rating for these spring minis in terms of the collection over here at Krispy Kreme. And with that, I'm gonna to have to give it just an okay six and a half out of 10. Again, not too much in terms of the variety, in terms of flavor, I should say, but visually they look pretty amazing. And considering they are minis, they are fun to eat. Naturally, you shouldn't feel as bad if you have one or two of them. But at the same time, I really wish the flavor was just a little bit different between each of them. Considering the flavors of the colors, or I should say the looks of them, the orange, the yellow, some of those types of things there instead of just the regular dyes, but still a very beautiful situation across the board and a lot of fun to check out. Pretty tasty. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the look of each of these particular donuts over here at Krispy Kreme. Did they look pretty amazing to you? And naturally, if you've had any of them, which is your personal favorite, even though they're pretty much kind of the same with the exception of the chocolate variant? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.